Hello everybody, welcome at uh, our rolling home. I'm Michael. We built um, that Vario in 2019-2020. Uh, it took us um, around uh, four months to um, go um, on the road and uh, another one year to do all the small parts. I just show you a couple of things we, we, we did, so come in. Here we have the kitchen with uh, plenty um, place, space um, for, for the stuff we need. Um, we have a three gas cooker and an electric uh, cooker with 1200 watts. Um, here we got a, um, a heater, um, an overhead heater. We, we do here some sausages or we do the uh, burgers. It's quite uh, delicious. And down here we have a, a 36 liter oven. We can, break, we can bake easily our bread here by self. We have um, plenty space for our food where we storage um, the floor and all the stuff we need. And here's our dishes. Let's have a snap few in our cupboards. Here we have our ice cream machine. It's, uh, we take that uh, on summer. Um, this is uh, when, we, when we do the bread or the, the noodles. And then a couple of other stuff we, we storage in here. Here we got the... Oh, we have some friends here. So it's just in the dishwasher. So let's go down. We have the coffee machine uh, for the noodles, our things and uh, yeah. So here's a little, plenty more. So we use uh, a system from a big uh, from a big dealer from Sweden, and it's um, quite quite cool. It's all stuff, nothing move around when we drive. So also we have a a nice uh, uh, fridge with a with a freezer with a real nice freezer. It's, it's around uh, 95 liter. Over here we have our sink, and for us it's very important to get a double sink. So for us it's possible to, to do the dishwashers washing and also have something for the salads, washing the salad or, or use it for different other things. So this is um, very helpful and for us very important. Um, just by side, this is our washing machine and it's uh, also a dryer. So for us, it's easily to wash three and a half kilo. And yeah, we use this very often. Here's the special things for me for the cooking. Um, yeah, what, what men's need. Huh? You got the, our, our, our herbs and some things for baking. And this is um, for our baby, so normally it's filled up, but this is just what's what left. And in here, in here is our storage for um, the wood part for the bed, the um, pump for the floor heating, I will explain later, and a couple of stuff you just need in the kitchen. Sit easily with uh, six people. Have a nice brunch uh, or a nice evening with a glass of wine. Later on, when we go to bed, it's quite easy to push that down and fill the spaces with the two um, parts down there. And we put that together and we have a bed with uh, 160 to 190 meters. Um, normally, we, we sleep with two people and with our baby here. Um, we have the possibility, it's not built in um, now, but um, at that side, this underneath here, there are five parts uh, and on the other side also, and we can put in a bed, an extra bed for our baby. So for the cold days, we um, build in uh, underfloor heating. We run that system with a 5000 watt diesel heater, water heater. And uh, we built in uh, 50 meters of um, 
um, 16 millimeters pipes and it's running around and around and around and um, at the end we get uh, around uh, 30 degrees on the floor that's enough um, heat to run that by by self uh, in the cold days here we have the pump for for the underfloor heating it consumes uh, around 41 watts we run our underfloor heating with um, 65 degrees and um, the heater first first stop of the of the heater is our 15 liter uh, water heater and um, that's help us with 15 liters and 65 degrees hot water we can use the shower a lot and have a nice long hot shower from from the um, hot water, we go farther to um, our radiator. We got it in a shower. And the radiator we put down on number three and it will goes up to 40 degrees. And it's uh, really, really nice in winter to get to dry the jackets and to dry the, the towels. And also it's very nice and warm when you have a shower. Farther here from, from the radiator, it's going up to um, the highest point. They way from here you go in. No, from here you go in, and this is a back way from the uh, floor heater. And this goes directly to the floor, around 30 degrees, and um, there. That's uh, the turnaround of our heater. Here we have our shower. It's um, 80 to 80 centimeters. Um, we have the possibility to use um, come closer we have a rain shower and it's easily fixed with magnets so it's quite easy to to clean it up if it's possible if it's needed and also we have uh, the normal shower we have um, on board around 260 liter fresh water we uh, carry that in um, two tanks. Uh, one tank is it's underneath the bank, and the other one is uh, at the underfloor of the of the wagon. We used uh, this rolling door, and um, yeah, it's uh, we lo I love the look like, and when we take a shower, it's the best way to to keep that everything run. What we really love and is really, really helpful is our sliding out cupboard. Uh, it gives us so much space for things we, we need every day. And uh, yeah, we love that. At our van, we use the uh, Victron system and we have just one, one display for everything we, we, we need. So we have around uh, 480 uh, amperes. Uh, of electricity, 650 watts on the roof in solar. Um, we have an um, inverter, not an inverter, we have a generator with 4000 watts. And here you can see what specially happens. This is the um, floor heating, it's just running. Um, yeah, so farther you can see what are with the liquids, um, with the waters and the um, wastewater. Here we have our um, switches for the light, for the whole lights. We have the switch for the electronic uh, step and the electronic uh, awning. Also, we can switch all with, uh, with the smart home. Um, so it's for us quite easy to control the, the, whole, the whole light. Um, here at the back, um, we built in the um, um, I just put on again the light, really good. So here we have the um, the dimmer for the light. We can dim every lights here in the car from just this part here, and it's um, yeah, it's really really cool. And um, at the end, we have uh, this one here. It's make a really really choosy light when we sit here and. Uh, enjoy the evening. Our ceiling is uh, made with uh, beach uh, wood stripes. Um, it's it's an open open ceiling. Um, we 
we put uh, armor flex underneath but it's um it's around 20 to 30 millimeters space between that and uh, for us really really good if we have to go underneath to to do some cable work um, or maybe i don't hope that we have a leak uh, we can put that off and it's easily to to repair it again so that's why we choose these uh, several things and did not do the the haul in once our vario is built in 2005 it's uh, 156 horsepower with 4.2 liter engine um, at that time we bought it um, it had uh, 39,000 kilometers on the clock our vario is uh, um, a 7.5 ton vehicle it's around seven meters long, um, nearly three meters ten high. Um, yeah, and the up speed is 120. And our cruising speed is around 90 kilometers per hour. So I hope you enjoyed my small tour through uh, our wagon. If you would like to have further information, just go on our Instagram, Cook Travel Overlander. There you can see a couple of more things in our highlights about that uh, what we built in the time thank you very much for watching that uh, video and uh, see you soon